Dear Republican Senators and President Trump, my name is Matilde Sanchez and I'm a dreamer addressing you today in regards to the future of the DACA program. The purpose of this video is to give you a perspective and future vision of a DACA recipient, someone who will firsthand experience the consequences of your decision. This is not another story of the hardships of the life of a DACA student, but rather a call to action to provide DACA recipients with citizenship, what it is we are recipients need and desire. I'm aware that maybe what I'm asking from you is not as simple as it seems. Asking for citizenship is not as easy as snapping your fingers. There are social and economic issues you have to take into consideration. This is why I'm reaching out to all of you, to everyone empowered, to come together to make this possible. Looking towards the history of change in this country, we are taught that through unity we can make a difference. The words of Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X, and Reverend Barber all resonate with this belief. Unity is a solution to this concern. I'm asking you to work together to give the dream of citizenship to DACA recipients. If the House Democrats can work together to offer us that dream through HR 6, I'm positive you can work together to move it along. The future of 800,000 immigrants is in your hands. It is up to you to make our dreams come true. Citizenship can fulfill dreams that are taken for granted by Americans. If granted citizenship, this is what a couple of our dreamers would do. If I had citizenship, I would travel back to Mexico, uh, visit my family, my grandparents, since I've never met them. I would definitely go back to my home country to visit my family. Probably go back to Mexico so I can see my family that I haven't seen in over 13 years, like my grandma and my uncles and stuff. The first thing that I would do, I wouldn't even think about it, it's supposed to be my family. Uh, probably visit my grandparents in Mexico. First thing I would do, I'd probably look up like, um, to the Peru to see my family and kind of like my home country because I don't really know it very well, is that I would actually be, um, accessible to have financial aid, something that I don't have right now. I would um, apply for financial aid, federal aid, and um, try to get into a school that I really want to. And like, my dream school is University of Toronto in Canada, so I would definitely go there and study. I also would like to go to the Galapagos to just be in nature, because I like being in nature. Uh, save up money and travel. I probably, probably everywhere on my waist, like, I want to go to the Middle East. I would travel a lot. I would do simple things such as go around the country or go around town without having to worry about something. And I would also like travel the world because it's something I don't have the luxury to do right now. I would definitely buy a home and then buy for my parents and then buy me a home. I would first vote for elected officials and then I yeah. myself would move in the politi uh, political sphere and run for political office. Um, I would also vote uh, probably looking for the military, so I really wanted to do that in high school. I would be able to go to the doctor when I haven't studied through something that I can't do, I have to suck it up. And then position for my parents, that's something that I really want to do. I hope that having listened to the humble and simple aspirations of our DACA recipients, we can leave you with a newfound perspective on what it is this community needs. We are in need of a new path to citizenship. We are in need of a new hope for the future. We are in need of your unity to make this happen. It is time for this community to wake up without the fear of what tomorrow will bring. It is time to act now.